What's up guys, Technobo here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using clans. Clans is an easy to use clan management plugin. Create and manage clans, check player stats, use private chats, trade items with other clan members and way more. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section. Select the Spigot tab and search for clans. Install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. While this plugin doesn't require any other plugins to work, there are a bunch of add-on plugins that you may find interesting. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. Before we look at any of the add-on plugins, let's have a look at the main plugin. To start, we can do slash clan to get some basic info on the plugin's commands. Let's create a clan. I'll run slash clan create test. The server tells us our clan is created and if we send a message in chat, you'll see the clan's name before my name. When we created the clan, we're the only people who knew of its existence. We can get it to announce to the entire server with an add-on plugin called clans create add-on. To rename the clan at a later date, we need to either delete and create another clan or we need another add-on plugin called Clans Rename Add-on. With the plugin installed, we can run slash clan rename followed by the name. To invite members, we use slash clan invite player name. And players can use slash clan accept followed by a player name to accept an invite and join your clan. To see members in the clan, do slash clan list. To kick members, we can use slash clan kick followed by a player name. And to leave a clan, we can use slash clan leave. And as mentioned earlier, we'd use slash clan delete to delete our clan. To see what clan a player is in without them having to type in chat first, we'd need another plugin called clans show add-on. After installing the add-on, we can use slash clan show followed by their name to check what clan they're in. To see PVP events in chat, we'd use the Clans Kill add-on. Once installed, each PvP event between players will show up like this. And now onto some interesting features. We can use slash clan set base to set a location for a clan base and slash clan base to teleport to it. For a clan member only text chat, we can use the Clans Chat add-on. Once the plugin is installed, you can use a once-off command to send just one message to the clan chat, which is slash clan chat followed by your message. Or use another command to toggle sending all future messages to the private clan chat instead of global chat with slash clan space toggle chat. And we have the clans chest add-on. Using slash clan chest, we can add or remove items from a shared chest. Anyone in the clan with permissions for this command can access this chest and add or remove items as they see fit. As long as you trust your clan members, then this will be very useful. Locate the config in the plugin folder. In here, we have each clan as a .yml file. It's possible for a server admin to add or remove players or even entire clans from here. Inside the settings folder, we can change the text responses from the plugin via messages.yml. Config.yml lets us set a clan name length limit, add a price to creating a clan for servers using Vault, enable sounds for players interacting with the clan plugin, and even enable it on whitelisted worlds. Unfortunately, heading back a folder, each clan add-on plugin is stored in its own unique folder. Each folder has a settings folder inside of it, with the same messages.yml for language customization and a config.yml file for settings. Each config.yml has the ability to change commands and even permissions that you can give to users or groups via permission plugins. Anyway, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!